Want to use video for your social media, but not sure how to create it? Or maybe you do, but you're feeling exhausted and burn out from creating and editing all your videos from scratch. Well, if that's you, friend, you're definitely in the right place because today I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva AI tools to create short videos for social media that you can use for things like Instagram reels, TikTok videos, or YouTube shorts. This new Canva AI tool is going to save you so much time and help you to create engaging social media content quick and easy. Now, of course, you can always create videos using the Canva free plan but the Canva Pro plan will give you additional features and capabilities that you can use in all of your different designs, including your videos. So if you've never tried Canva Pro before, I do have an affiliate link in the description box below that'll let you try out Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So hopefully that'll help you to determine which Canva plan might be right for you. Okay, let's go ahead and hop onto Canva. Okay, so we're here on Canva. And if you look over to the left, you'll see where it says Magic Studio. You can click on that. And we're gonna come down to where it says Magic Design for Video. This is the new Canva feature that's going to help you create a video in just a few seconds, which is really easy and quick. So when you click to try magic design for video, it's going to ask you to upload at least three files to your video. So for this, you can use photos or videos that you already have that you want to compile into one video. So for our example today, I'm just going to use some stock images that I got from a different website and bring those in. After you select the images or videos you want to bring in, you're going to write a description or a prompt here describing the kind of video you want. This prompt is what Canva is going to use to generate the design. So here here you want to think about your target audience member and what you want the text on this reel to be. So for instance, if I have a target audience that is business owners who are maybe struggling through their entrepreneurship journey, I might want to create a video that's encouraging for them or inspiring for them. So I could say something like video to encourage entrepreneurs to enjoy the journey. Then I'm going to click generate. All right. So here's my video. It's used my stock photos and put some text and audio with it. So let's watch this and just see what it came up with. Okay, so that was a pretty good video. I like most of what it did with it. So what you would wanna do now is come in and if there's any changes you wanna to make to either what the text says or the colors or even the animations, you can do that by clicking on the different slides down here. So I know for sure I don't wanna use this red background color for this text because it's not really one of my brand colors. So I might come in, select the text and come up to effects. So you can see when you select the text, this little part that says effects and typewriter are grayed out. That's telling me that there actually are some effects and animations in this case, the typewriter animation applied to this text already. So if I come to effects, I can see what's selected to see what's already applied. So the background one is already selected. So if I want to keep the background and just change the background color, I can select this color and then go choose one of my brand colors. Or I can always change this to a different text effect if I don't want the background effect. I can also change the animation. So right now it's on typewriter, which means the animation on the text is acting like it's being typed out. But I can always choose any of these animations like wiping across, fading, breathing in. There's lots of different cool ones that I can choose from. So then I would continue editing just slide by slide by clicking on these and making the changes that I want. And then I could even change the audio. So let's say I don't really like this song that Canva chose to go with it. I can delete that audio, come to the elements section and look under music. I can always type in something I'm thinking of as well. So I might type in something like happy music audio. And then I would scroll over here at the top to where it says audio. So now I can see all of these different audio tracks I can choose from. All right, so then once I find one I like, I can just click to it, drag that down here where the audio goes. And then I would want to continue working with this to time it out with my video during the part of the track that I want to use. I can also come up here to beat sync and make sure that syncing now is toggled on. And what that does is it actually uses Canva's beat sync feature to time the transitions between my slides with the actual beats of the music. Now, coming back to the topic of the video and what you want the text to say, if you're running dry on your creativity and maybe you just can't think of any good new ideas of what it should be about, out, but I want to give you a free gift that's going to really help you out. I have it linked in the video description. It's my free social content ideas vault. It's a whole guide that'll give you over 95 different prompts and ideas for different things you could use for your social media content. I know as a creator, it can be really hard sometimes to come up with new and exciting, engaging ideas. So this is sort of meant to just be a cheat sheet for you in case you just need something fresh for your social media account. So definitely grab that guide linked below after you watch this video. Okay. Now I want to show you one other way you can do a really fast and 
and fun video. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a new canvas here and I'm just going to type in reel. So I'm going to choose the Instagram reel size on Canva. Then I'm going to go ahead and upload a video I want to use. So for this example, I'm going to upload this video that I recorded of me doing a talking head video. So though I could use just this video of me talking to be the whole video and that would be fine. Something you can do to make your videos extra engaging is adding B roll, which is basically adding in different clips of other things. So it's switching from you talking to the B roll clips. It could be really anything that goes along with the topic of what you're talking about, but you want to continue using the audio portion of your voice talking almost as a voiceover over the B roll clips. So what we're going to do here first is with this video that we uploaded selected, I'm going to right click and choose extract audio. So that took the audio of my voice talking and put it down here on its own audio track. That's this purple part. And then next I'm going to choose some B roll clips that I want to add into my video. You could either upload these from a different website or you can use the videos within Canva's elements section. So I'm going to come to the elements section and I know in this video I'm talking specifically about the importance of entrepreneurs resting and how busy we can get so often. So I'm going to come search for some videos that might fit that topic. So my idea for this was to search for some videos of person typing. And once the results come up, I'm going to click over to videos. And then I can see all of these different videos that are available. If I hover over them, I can kind of see what's happening in the video itself. And then once I find one I like, I'm going to come back down here and choose where I want to insert this in my video. Okay. So I think at this point right here in the videos where I want to insert this first B-roll video. So I'm going to click on the video where I want to make the cut. And then I'm going to right click and choose split page. So now we can see that has split this video into two different sections, but our audio is still all as one. So now I can click on the video I want to use and drag it down and insert it here between these two video clips. So now if I just take this back a little bit, we can see if we watch the preview, the transition here. Through the idea of this for years, years as entrepreneurs we're wired a certain way we're wired so we can see how the audio continues with this b-roll video on top now this is a long video so we can always trim this down we probably don't want to use the whole thing but we might just want to use a few seconds of it and then clip to another b-roll so for the next one i might want a person texting on their phone so i'm going to put person texting and again drag the video i like down to the portion in the video timeline where i want it to be and now we can bring our little cursor back and start again from where i'm talking and see how this transition looks. Years and years, as entrepreneurs, we're wired a certain way. We're wired to start businesses, to try new things. Okay, so we've got those two. And so I would continue with this process, just adding in different videos as B-roll, maybe coming back to my talking head part of the video a little bit. Now, of course, we want this to be sized the right way. So you can always click to drag your video and make sure that it's the correct size and it fills up the whole canvas. And once you have it all ready and finished, you're going to come up here to share, click download, and you're going to download this as an MP4 video. That way you can use your downloaded video and upload it to whatever platform you're going to be using this on. Now, one more quick little pro tip here for this video, you can always add text on top as well. So if you're using it for something like an Instagram reel, having text on your video actually makes a big difference in terms of keeping people's attention longer. So you can add a text box just by coming over here to text, add a text box and inputting whatever text you want on top here. You can add your text to sort of serve as captions for what you're actually speaking the whole time, or you can input your own text. It's really up to you. You can add different things like emojis or animations to make it more interesting. And you can really do as much with it as you'd like. So there you have it, friends. I hope that was helpful for you. Now don't forget to click the link below to grab your free 95 social content prompt ideas. It's going to help you come up with quick and easy topics that you could use for your videos, whether they be for Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, TikTok, whatever platform you're using them for. These 95 ideas are going to definitely help you get some fresh inspiration for your social media. Happy creating.